Well, hello and welcome back to another great episode of Minecraft with Ricky on Zetacraft. As you saw in the intro here, what I've done is I've actually created a road that goes from the shopping district out to the valley. And this is going back to what I've said in earlier episodes where I want this to be my first view of the valley as you enter it. Just kind of get that tree looking over and then being able to look across the valley into all the buildings as you go across this first bridge. But I've actually been talking to Hypnojo and we've had an idea for maybe introducing a road network for the entire server. So I've asked him to come on over and we're going to kind of talk out our plans there and see what comes of that. So let's go ahead and meet up with Hypno. Hi, time. Well, that's not sus. <laughs> Hypno! <laughs> hey! Going? It is going. So, uh, you and I were talking, and I think we said we wanted to set up, like, some sort of road network to connect people's bases together above ground. Yes, I love the idea. Like, just be able to actually... So that we can actually have the bases be connected and then you can direct where you want your base to be seen from when it first approaches. Which I think would be yeah. really cool with mine. Be like, hey, I want this to be the first view of the valley as you come through that first opening bridge. But um, yeah. as we're just thinking about this, I think what we should do is actually map the server with a bunch of maps so we can kind of get a, a view of how the <laughs> server looks. That was very distressing. Yeah, see, flying can be dangerous. If you were on the road, you wouldn't have died. <laughs> that was so unexpected. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, never know what's going to happen on Zetacraft, that's for sure. Yeah. But yeah, a map of the server sounds awesome just on its own, but you add that to the, the road project, I think we were Maybe talking about a real winner here. And after. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like that. I love before and after. So, all right. Um, I can't trade with villagers because you're not know, challenged and all that for the season. <laughs> yes, yes. I remember. So, so uh, you want to head your base, get a bunch of maps. I'll go buy a bunch of rockets from the bargain box and maybe we can start working on this. Yeah, sounds good. Excellent. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. Check out our map, Hypno. This thing's so cool. Yeah. Wow. It looks so much better than I expected it to. And it's not like mass, like it doesn't take up a ton of space, which is nice. And you still get a little detail in there. Now, if if I didn't actually know the server, if you look at this snow line here, you would almost think this is like a 1.18 added to a 1.17 server, but it's not. Yeah. This is actually how the world generates. And it yep. is like such a cool little... It's just, like the North Pole right here, right? We literally have a North Pole of the server, and it's like a straight wow. line across. <laughs> but yeah, this is... We should... This is huh? so cool. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head up behind here and get an aerial view of this thing. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. That's so cool. 
I only want to discuss how many rockets we used and how long this took. Okay, you used a lot more rockets than I right, did. Let's just, just okay. Let's be honest. <laughs> okay. I did this two thirds to three quarters of the map, and you managed to do this quarter about three times. Yes, but also I used <laughs> about a tenth of the rockets you did. Yeah. While mapping the same four maps three times. How yeah, is that, that, that happened, you know. <laughs> Just, I was distracted, you know. <laughs> it was, but it's and all right. my time was better spent getting more maps anyways. Oh, yeah, no, no, I, I, no, it's a lot of maps. But it was a great idea to add the banners for people's bases. Oh, yeah. Megateca's heart-shaped castle looks so cool. No, Ariel. I didn't realize that my valley is literally the size of the shopping district. <laughs> yeah. Which is the same size as Maya's base, although you, what's not shown is how much in the ocean that he's terraformed that's just deep slate under there, which is crazy. Yeah. And my, I mean, my base, yeah. base is <sighs> just like looking so good. Just imagine it's the whole bay. My base is huge. <laughs> it is, except you can't see it. <laughs> true, true. Poor Clinton all the way out here. We're going to have to maybe reconnect these, but he's so far over. I didn't realize he's he was that a, far out there. He's Alaska. <laughs> but yeah, this, this turned out really cool. This was a great project to work on. And now we need to do some planning and figure out where we're going to put roads and connect everything. Definitely, so, yeah. That'll probably be a multi-week project side project when we have some time, but we'll definitely revisit that when it's done. For sure. Ooh, I like this map. Thank you. This was <laughs> the valley before I added a tree. Oh, do you have a valley with the tree? I, I oh, look at that. <laughs> it hmm. looks a little different. Can you spot the difference? I also added a river up top. And a lake. Yes, and roads, and roads, and a couple buildings. But the one building True. covered up by the tree. A couple statues have been added. A little bit of work between these two maps. Yeah, definitely come along. What's interesting, if you look carefully, from about here over is a bunch of warp nylium that I actually dug back up because I wanted to make a natural entrance. Oh over. wow. <laughs> and then replanted that forest. So you can kind of see where the forest is a little denser because I replanted it. I got to thin it out to make it look a little bit more natural. Yeah. But don't you love undoing work that you did? I also moved the statue. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you didn't even notice that, did you? <laughs> Not until you said something. I throw that statue down, rebuilt it, built two more statues. So I've now built a bunch of statues. Yeah, including got, one at my base. Yes, but I've got a much bigger build planned here soon. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, but I'll have to wait and see. If you want to see it, you better subscribe to the channel. It's going to be awesome. I'm already subscribed, Ricky. <gasps> Get excited. But all right, this, is, <laughs> this was a huge, fun project. Thank you so much for helping with that. And uh, of course, thank you. We'll revisit this when we get back to it. For sure. <laughs> all right. Great stuff. Um, in case you get lost, you go across the bridge, and that is the nether portal. Oh, like just straight just ahead. Like straight okay. ahead. Um, you don't All need right. to visit it four times to get there. <laughs> you go straight to the tree. Love it. Like a moth to the flame. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's great. Ah! Well, okay. I'm good. I got wings. All right. Uh, well, I'll meet back up with you in a couple days or something, and something we'll, like that. We'll, we'll start talking about these roads. Sounds good. All right, Ricky, have a good one. Thank you. We are back in spawn right now, and a couple of our members have had to take a little break from the server. So I talked to them, and I'm going to go ahead and help them out by building their statues here, these four right here just to kind of help finish up this spawn area so we can have these all done. So let's go ahead and get into a time lapse of building up some of the statues here so we can kind of complete out the spawn area a little bit better.
Well, as you can see, we have gone and finished all of the statues here at the spawn area, and this place is looking absolutely fantastic. And we have all the skins of the Season 1 members of ZetaCraft, and this is just so cool. Now we've got one more thing that we've got planned for spawn, but that'll have to come at a later episode because I'm going to need some help with some of the other Zetas to do it. So if you want to see what that is, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned with all the new builds as they come out. But before we do anything else today, I want to go and meet up with Time and discuss our friend Rupert, who's still stuck in that 1x2 cave in Beosil's area. So let's go be with Time and see how he's doing. Oh, okay, I'll be under the tree. Time! Hi, Ricky! Dude, this tree is awesome. Why, thank you. The banners that are constantly like, like moving the wind just literally brings the tree to life. It just needs a little bit of movement. I think the, the addition to the particles from the spore blossom also add just a little bit more atmosphere to it as well. Which, speaking of spore blossoms, public service announcement, Mojang, please allow us to dye spore blossoms so that we can have multicolored particles. Thank you. That is the end of our public service announcement portion. How you doing, Ty? <laughs> I'm I'm good. How about yourself? I I have a problem that I think that your particular skills could be helpful with. Go on. I hear you're a redstone expert. The best, actually. <laughs> and I think well, have you heard of our friend Rupert? I've heard a, a little bit of whispers in the wind about some sort of free Rupert. I'm very interested. Okay, so Rupert is a skeleton that naturally spawned in the world with full diamond gear. And Diosil has him caged in a 1x2 cave that's in the middle of his uh, cave base. And he just looks so lonely and wants freed. And I, um, I may have started to spread the campaign for free Rupert. And uh, you want to go uh, check him out, see how he's doing? I fully support this. Let's go. By the power of editing magic. Editing, 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 editing. Ever get the feeling you're missing some logs? I look at that. Every time I go through this portal, I'll be like, am I missing locks? Am I? Not anymore. Let's meet by Mylas's first, because he'll pick up the editing there. Editing, editing, editing. All right, so DSL is just down here, and, um, I may have spread the campaign a little bit. Oh! Oh! Well, you need to start peacefully. I mean, he just I wants a home. Hashtag free Rupert. Help a skeleton. Hashtag free Rupert. Trapped since day one. Hashtag free Rupert. We need your help to hashtag free Rupert. <laughs> I'm sensing a reoccurring theme here. Hashtag free Rupert. Well, if we come on down to this middle portal here, this should actually take us to DSL's base. And I don't believe he's online right now, which I should check before I come in here, but now we're good. And the other day, I caught DSL while he was AFK in his little storage cup under the stairs here. So I started placing all these signs, and that's kind of. <laughs> make, make the message known, you know. Subtle hints. For Rupert's all alone, and this is, if you haven't met him in person, Rupert. Oh, hi, Rupert. You look very confined. Very confined. But I can't help but notice that there is a wall, and an observer, and a piston under him. Uh, well. And I that's don't. I that don't sucks. know why. Right? Well, I mean, I am a redstone expert, so being that there's a piston and a wall, I'm going to guess that this is definitely 
a redstone clock. Redstone clock? Okay. So yeah. we're, we're going to have to do some planning and go over the way, but I think we need to free Rupert. But we can't just let him go. I mean, that that would just not be fair. I mean, where would he go? I think we need he to build a home for Rupert. I like this. Give him somewhere, you know, better than just a little one by two with a little cloud cabinet that he's stuck in. We need to give him a proper house somewhere so that he could actually have somewhere to live and thrive. I mean, look at this. He's literally just decaying into bones here. L literally decaying into bones. It's it's terrible. Yeah, we need to do something about this. This is unacceptable. This is mob mistreatment. Yeah, this borderline mob cruelty. I would I would say this is fully mob cruelty. Fully mob cruelty. Okay. So this is something we're gonna have to need to deal with. But before we do anything here, we need to have somewhere to take him. Yeah, we should probably do that instead of just jump in haphazardly and start this redstone clock. Yeah, no, I mean, either that or it's a flower shaker. It could be a flower shaker. I mean, look at all the florals in this cave. I mean, actually, come to think of it, it might be a bone shaker. Like a massage chair, but for skeletons. But, but we don't know for sure what if it's a TNT yeah. trap. No, it's definitely not that. I can, I can clearly, I don't see any TNT. So, all in right. all the TNT traps, there's always exposed TNT. I'm an expert. Have you seen my tree farm? <laughs> I have. It almost blew up the first time we used it. So, I mean, absolute expert because the almost means it didn't. Except exactly. It did. And there was exposed TNT. <laughs> so, all right. Let's uh, come up with a plan and try and come up with the house. And then we'll meet back up and go from there. Sounds good. Excellent. Well, that is all the time we have for this week's episode. Please let us know in the description down below if you're on team hashtag free Rupert or team hashtag keep Rupert. We want to know where everyone thinks on if he should stay in his little cave where he is now or if he should actually move into a home for that uh, time and I decide to build for him. So definitely go down in the comments below and let us know what team you're on and what you think we should do with him. But if you liked our episode, please hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to the further developments of Rupert and everything else going on here on ZetaCraft. And until next time, this has been another great episode of Minecraft with Ricky on ZetaCraft. See ya!